Okay, hey guys. This has been a popular request on YouTube for me to do a tutorial on a zooming transition where it zooms in and out of a scene and it's blurry. Yeah, I think that was kind of implied. So anyways, first of all, you will import your image or video. So if you have more than one track, remember to drag your loop region across your selected tracks and you will just press Ctrl M and it will render all your tracks to a um, new track onto another video. So, yeah. It took me a while to figure that out. So, first of all, you will go to your track motion and you'll press add a new keyframe. Okay, so this is the one where you'll start zooming, but it's still the same, if that makes sense. See, the image is still unchanged. So then you will add another keyframe. I usually add mine to about 7 frames later. So yeah. So the second keyframe is when you actually zoom in or out. So in this case I'll be zooming in since I don't think I can zoom out anymore. Okay. And what you can also do to make it a little bit more lively. To make your animation a little bit more, um, I guess smoother. Not so dead. Yeah, you can also put the image moving a little. So, first of all, this method does not use new blue effects. I think new blue effects just doesn't let you customize it as much as this method. And this method doesn't require you to have new blue effects. So this method is for anybody. So, first of all, you'll click on your first keyframe and you will press S on your keyboard and this will split your image and or video and you will do the same thing to your second keyframe so then you are left with three segments and you'll click on the middle segment this will just help you to kind of remember where to drag your video effects not that I'm saying you're stupid or anything but it just kind of helps me because sometimes I would drag it and it would just woo, just fly into the segment and oh uh, no so first of all you'll go to video effects You'll go to Gaussian Blur or Linear Blur first, but I'll just go to Gaussian Blur first. And you'll press Soften. Now this depends on what kind of blur you want. You can also go to Medium Blur, Reset to None, where you can customize your blur. Like Blur, Extreme Blur, blah 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 blah. Okay, anyways. Drag it onto the middle segment. And yeah, as you can see, it started blurring. Not so much, but yeah. If you don't want it too, too blurry, just stop here and you're good to go. But... For me, I kind of like mine it's a little bit blurrier, so I go to a linear blur, and it depends on what kind of blurriness you want. You can do horizontal blur, vertical blur, very, very extreme blur, but no, I kind of like to go in between. I go 45 degrees, and as a, a diagonal medium blur, and as you can see, it kind of gives this diagonal effect to it, which I really like. It gives it more of a... I don't know, it just, it just makes it look cooler. So, this is the effect we have right now. <coughs> oh, sorry. And, just to make this a little bit smoother, I like to overlap my images. So, click in between the first segment and the middle segment. Drag the middle segment about 2 frames. It will tell you 0, colon, 0, 2. And that's how much I like to overlap it, just a little bit, so it's a little bit smoother. Or maybe like three frames, four frames, whatever you want. You know, just to make it a little bit more smooth. And not so spontaneous. Like out of the blue, oh, what is this blur? Yeah. So, I just press Shift B. And this kind of like just pre-renders my video in a sense. Except it's faster. And it doesn't take as much time. Well, they kind of use the same thing, I'm sorry. So yeah, that just pre-renders it. And this is the result we end up with. As you can see, it looks really cool, a nice way to transition. So from the beginning, they could be not singing, like right here, and then they could be singing. That just draws more attention to the character, I find. And like, instead of just starting out right here, like starting out from there to there, it just makes it more, I don't know, just draws a lot more attention to it. Because you're kind of not expecting that to happen. So yeah. So that has been a very popular request as I've said already. 
and if you ever requested a tutorial, um, re-request it because um, I've been a hiatus and I kind of haven't been paying attention to all the tutorial requests. Like I don't write them down or anything, so please re-request it if you really want to know how to do something. Um, if I don't really have time to make a tutorial for it, but I know a very helpful tutorial on it, I will relocate you <laughs> to that tutorial. And my dog is scratching again. Sorry. Okay, anyways. So yeah, just re comment it or PM it to me if you don't want to comment to it. Comment on it. Yeah. And yeah. So I guess that's it. And thank you. And how do I end this again? Ah.